What up, y'all? Another podcast. Podcast with no name. Number 12, I think. I don't know for sure. I think it is. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff to talk about today, but we're going to shorten it to like 30 minutes because I got to take a shower. I just got home from the gym. And uh, I'm pretty fucking tired. So, like, I just need time to myself right now. So, yeah. Um. So, for starts, I'm going to be off social media for like four or five months. Reason being is just because I get really jealous. <laughs> we're starting off real quick, not even a minute in. Um, I get really jealous of just like other my other friends hanging out with other friends because I, I ask them to hang out and they're like, yeah, sure. And then, you know, um, I plan it in advance and then I see on their stories that they're hanging out. And then, you know, sometimes I'd reply, be like, hey, I thought we were hanging out. I was like, oh, no, Barry, I had plans. I'm like, dude, that's such a fucking lie. Like, you didn't at all whatsoever. And I know it's something like I'm targeting people, but like, dude, it's it's a lot of people that I hang out with. So at the moment, I'm just off social media, so I don't care if people are hanging out with each other because me seeing that on their stories, it just like books to my head because I'm like, am I, am I doing something wrong? Do you just not want to hang out with me? I'm like, I'm overthinking it a lot because I overthink. My whole fucking mental is messed, but you know, um, I'm here on this planet. All I have is myself. <laughs> so... Um, I'm off social media for, like I said, four or five months. I'm going to just try and focus on myself. Um, I just weighed myself in. I've gained like 20 pounds in the past month and a half, two months. Like it's hard for me to lose weight and it isn't at the same time, but me gaining weight, dude, I can definitely gain like five, 10 pounds in like, I want to (laughs) say not even maybe a week, maybe a week and a half. I don't know, but it's just. I've gotten to more eating habits just because, you know, I've had a lot of shit happen to me lately, so I've just been eating so much. I've been wa- I wanted bulk, but no, I just, I need to look skinny because I don't like how my body looks, so I just need to put time and effort into losing the weight and see how I feel about it. And maybe later on, if I really want to bulk, I'll do it, but I'm not going to go for like the strong man fucking, you know, build or whatever the fuck. I'm just going to stick with trying to look lean and fit because today I went to the gym my friend John and I I hadn't squatted in a while because I hurt my back back when I was doing football and uh, I didn't go to the hospital or anything I just didn't get my back checked out but every time I worked out dude my back would just hurt so bad like even walking around was just like so painful I just didn't talk about it that often just because it's just I don't know I just didn't need to and the fact that I was sleeping on a futon at the time or yeah, around then I was sleeping on a futon at the time. It just it didn't help my back at all. So I just felt like you know, I needed to not go to the gym. And that's when I gained a lot of weight back. But I mean, I went back in the gym later on, but I didn't do squats or deadlifts, even though those two work out like your entire body, from what I've heard and from what you could probably see in the workouts. It does definitely work out a lot of your body. But I'm gonna be trying doing deadlifts and squats and stuff like that more. But I mean. For the most part, I'm just going to be trying trying to hit the gym like five days a week. And I'm figuring out this regimen for my workouts. So uh, what I think I have going is uh, uh, waking up very early in the morning, like 3.30, 4 a.m. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to go to sleep at like 8 p.m. probably for now on. Because I get out of school around like 12. So I mean like I have seven hours to myself to do whatever. So I mean if I work out in the morning and get it over with and go throughout my day, then... It's not a big deal. So, wake up. Uh, eat something. Something being, I don't know, um, a hefty low calorie breakfast. Like you know, it's it's kind of like an oxymoron. Like a hefty, like a lot, but a low calorie fucking thing. So what am I gonna eat? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll do the research and shit. I probably said oxymoron thing wrong because I'm fucking dumb but um yeah I'll, I'll eat something then go hop in the shower take a cold shower to wake me up and then walk over to the gym and once I get my car I'll drive over there but for now I'll walk over to the gym work out for about an hour come back home um take a hot shower uh dry off you know I'll be home around probably six o'clock and then get ready for school go to school and then on and then once I get home from school, I won't eat a lunch. But after I'm done working out, I probably have like a protein bar or some shit, so I feel full up until lunchtime. So then 
I don't eat anything until dinner. I eat dinner. But only like two hours before I go to bed. So I don't eat something and then instantaneously go to bed. And then it's that process. If it kind of sounded confusing, I'm going to try and fix it up and whatnot. And I'll probably have it up in a week or so. So next week on Wednesday when the next podcast comes out, I'll definitely have something planned for the workout regimen. But that's what I have right now in my brain. Like I just made that up as we went. Like I had some idea, but I mean that's that's basically what I'm trying to hit. It's just I need to focus on what I'm going to eat cuz like I said, dude, I've been like this is going to help me out so much cuz I've been door dashing food and that's not really healthy. Like today or not today. Yesterday, um I ordered Popeyes at like 5 o'clock and um it was like 30 piece like strip, but they're not that big in my eyes. Like I'll I'll eat like instantaneously like 30 chicken strips or whatever fuck i think it might have been 20 25 but i don't know it was a lot but i ate it all and then i had the cajun fries and then on the doordash thing it says any locations that are close to popeyes they can get the stuff from there too so i got like an avalanche bahama bucks pina colada with tropic cream on the fucking thing so it was just kind of like a lot of calories i definitely consumed over 2000 yesterday because it wasn't just that either like i had this whole bag family size bag of ruffles cheddar cheese i was munching on those ate the rest of the bag i think the bag's over here somewhere it's literally right here it's literally it's literally right here like i gotta stop i seriously do and i might get on some supplements and stuff like that but not like i'm gonna do research into it and see because i don't want anything to mess with my body because i mean i took creatine and i was peeing blood and i don't drink enough water i guess because even though i drink a gallon a day uh my body doesn't think so and i think it needs to consume more water so i don't pee blood when i have creatine so and people think i pee blood because i just dried scooped it in my mouth no i put it in water shook it up drank the creatine i didn't chug it i sipped it a little bit you know like it's like an alcoholic beverage but you know i drank it within an hour because i was really thirsty and I needed to consume the creatine for later that day when I worked out. So then drank the water, you know, throughout the day. I didn't have to piss. Went to the gym. First thing I had to do was piss. Peed blood. Was worried if I was going to, like, you know, not die. Like, I, I was just worried about what was going to happen just because I was peeing blood. And I looked at the shit. It's like, oh, you're drinking enough water. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't. I thought I was, but I don't want to mess up my liver. So I'm just not taking creatine. Even though it defines your muscles more and helps out muscle, muscle growth. I mean. I think just because the genes I have and everything else. Because my dad was built when he was playing football. I mean, he was a, I think he was a quarterback. But, I mean, he was still built. So, I mean, I have whatever he has. And you can't really see it in here. But, I mean, like, there's something there. And I could definitely outline my body if I work hard enough. Which I'm going to do. Because, you know, four or five months on social media, focusing on myself, my workout regimen, staying on that strictly not spending money on food so I can have enough money to spend stuff I really need to spend on. Because now I can focus on YouTube, uh, producing music, and just, you know, relaxing. Like, I don't need to see friends' stories and then have to post some bullshit or whatever. I don't got to look at Instagram or Snapchat and be caught up in that. Like, I'm still going to have TikTok, but I'm, I'm not going to communicate with anyone on TikTok. I'm just looking at posts, and I'll probably be bored after, like, 30 minutes, which is usually what happens because my feed is so dog shit on TikTok, to be honest. Like, I mean, there's some things that I'll look at, and I'm like, oh, I want to post something like that, and I'm like, oh, okay. But for the most part, I don't like TikTok that much. Be looking at my fucking cookies, bro. I was going to say something real bad. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, uh, I need time. Like, my mental health has been slowly, like, like going down a fucking hole. And, I mean, I don't need to see therapy or anything. I'm not going to kill myself. It's just, like, I'm at a point where, like, I need to really start loving myself and understanding myself more and who I am as a person. Because there's a lot of people that say I'm a good person. And then there's some people that I don't think actually think that. And they lie to me to my face. And I just, I don't know for sure if I'm a bad person or not. Because I would like to think I'm a good person, but, like, I mean, just, there's some people out there, like, I don't, I don't like being on a bad side on it for anyone. I mean, if it's some family member, sure, I don't really care, because, I mean, I care for family, but, I mean, at the moment, there's just a lot of shit going on, and I can't deal with it with my family. But with friends, I need to keep, like, a continuous cycle of just, you know, not, no negativity, no fucking bad shit going on. So, I mean, 
Throughout the break, it'll show me who is my friend and who isn't my friend because they'll hit me up because, I mean, I want to hang out every once in a while, but the first month of September, I'm waiting for people to hit me up and if I really need to choose if I need to hang out with them or I need to do this thing because this is, this is the four or five months that truly is like need to focus on because it's the last year of high school, need to graduate, obviously. Um, what I'm doing after high school, uh, focusing on other sh- shit and not just having to hang out with friends. I mean, I understand that like, you know, this is like the last chance to hang out with friends. And then once you go get a job or go to college, it's going to be like, you can't hang out all the time. And when you're in high school, you can hang out whenever people don't have shit going on. So I'm kind of like, you know, there's things that you can do. It's just, I don't know, man, just, I've always been this person that people, I, I've gone to them or they've gone to me to hang out and now I'm going to have to turn myself into a person where I'm just like, nah, I can't hang out today. Even though I truly can, it's just I need to make my own decisions and be like, oh yeah, um, I'm going to hit the gym today. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that because I got to focus on myself and realize what I need to do. Like if I seriously want to go push myself towards working out, uh, continuously uploading and doing stuff for YouTube, getting better at it, producing getting better at it dropping music because um these are small goals but like if i can definitely get the 220 or at least close to it i mean if i get 230 I won't be mad at it but like anywhere between 220 and 230 i'll be good but um within that i want to be able to get better at producing music i want to be a bit better at editing videos putting out better content hopefully getting like a thousand subs by the end of this year even though we're literally like at 80, <laughs> which is not that much at all. But I mean, if I truly put my whole shit into YouTube, then maybe, but I don't, I don't know. We're going to see. Um, if it's just me doing these podcasts by myself, it's going to be kind of boring. So I need to bring people on, but I mean, that's a small little thing, but yeah, producing music. I've always put off music to the side. There's just moments like, you know, for dudes and maybe girls sometimes, if you wake, if you're just there 1, 2 a.m. not tired at all and you're just like, you know what, I want to change my life right now. I want to just go do shit. I want to do homework, clean my room, do this, do that, you know, just be good. And then like the day after that or when you go to bed and wake up, you're like, oh, fuck, bro, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> like you just have that motivation instantaneously at like the latest time. That's what it was with with me with music. Like I'd play a game with someone, they'd get off and be like, well, fuck, I'm not tired. You know what? I'm just going to make some music. And so I have some stuff kept in uh, this computer. But my old computer had a bunch of stuff in it, which is now only in my email. Because before I sold off my other computer and the parts inside, um, I emailed all the beats to myself. So, I mean, I sent them to some people and uh, they didn't like them. And then that made my brain think like, oh, shit, I suck at producing music. So I'm just going to push it off to the side. I'm going to try and get better at it. But I mean, I don't know what sound I'm trying to shoot for. Like, like boom bap would be dope. Industrial rap could be um, something I'd want to get into. But I mean, it's not something that a lot of people would want to listen to. And then with boom bap, it's just very chill, mellowed out vibes, whatever the fuck. But I mean, I want to make some hard music too. Like, I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of Zillakami, but I mean, his style of like music production and his raps i mean with the guitar riffs and you know the 808s and hi-hats and shit just like mixing together is crazy but maybe something like freddie dread some some funk but not real funk but like you know just funk elements added onto it but his his recent album was fired by the way but i mean i'm not gonna spit any bars i can't write Um, I'm going to just go off and say it. I'm white. (laughs) And uh, everything I say is very cornballish. So I'm never going to try just writing music ever again. I have shit in my notes, but I mean, that's not something I'd want to push for and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a song from the notes I have because it's it's so bad. And this is the thing, because I say I have lyrics and beats in, you know, that I've made, but I don't like showing them to anyone. And people don't believe me. And I could show y'all right now. But maybe in a later video, I'll be like, oh yeah, I, I, I act, Matthew actually makes beats. I also have to change my uh, producer name too. Because, I mean, Matt 
<laughs> so it's so generic. Like I need to change it, but I can't think of anything to change it to. Like there's nothing interesting about me to be like, oh yeah, make this name. Like look around my room, bro. I'm just the most generic dude. I mean, not really, but I mean, just I don't know. I just need uh, some time to think about what I want to make my name. But off that. I need to really think about what I'm going to do to lose all this weight. Because what I'm truly trying to focus on, like I said earlier, is losing this weight. Because it's a lot. And I gained 20 pounds in two months. And I think I can lose 20 pounds in two months. Maybe even less. Because I'm going to go into calorie deficit. I'm only going to eat breakfast and dinner. And they're going to be big breakfast and dinners. So I'm just going to skip out on lunch. But I got to figure out the, the caloric calorie deficit shit I got to eat. For breakfast and dinner. Because I could have like some... I, I don't want to eat any carbs. So I can't eat anything with bread. Um, I mean I'll have a snack. But that's just after the breakfast and workout. So I'll work out. Or I'll eat breakfast. Shower. Workout. Go home. Shower. Eat protein bar. And then you know. Go to school. Whatever. But then for dinner I gotta figure that out too it's just a lot right now and I can't figure it out during the podcast cause then I'll just have these random pauses or I'm just like mm-hmm. and I don't like that cause it's even hard to continuously talk throughout this entire podcast cause just uh, I say um a lot I pause a lot and I'm trying to learn not to do that as often just because I shouldn't and it just show it tells it tells the other person that I am not like smart enough even saying like like the valley girl just did it uh, it's not fun at all i don't want to be this person that's just like not as smart which i don't think i'm smart i don't think um anything and i'm not trying to gain attention from that because i go on <laughs> so close i go on my uh instagram and snapchat stories and post what's on my mind because i don't like saying uh, sorry, <clears throat> what's going on in my life with people, because I don't like counting them out and saying this to them, just all this information that I have, and I don't like paying for a therapist, even though it helped for a bit, I'll say that, I don't like my parents paying for a therapist or paying for meds or anything, I just like going on my stories and saying what's on my mind, and then if people want to reply, they're going to reply it. You guys can take any information you want off the stories or even from the podcast and what I say about my mental health, but just take it as is. Don't think I want attention. I don't. If I need help, I'll ask for help. I'm not one of those dudes that has just like been trained by their father to be like, you're a man. All right. You gotta, you can't go out there and tell people that you're sad because that's fucking gay. Like, I'll, I'll tell you if I really need help. And I've told people in the past, like, hey, Matthew does need help. Like, I mean, one of my friends recommended me to go to a therapist. I said no. And then I finally, you know, went in. And I was like, oh, all right. Therapy's actually kind of nice. And I went for like a month and a half, two months. And then I stopped once I felt like I was good. And I don't want my parents paying for that shit anymore. Because I feel like just, you don't need to pay for therapy. You can if it's that bad. But, like, my shit, I don't think it's that bad. I don't care about myself enough to even say that I'm in a bad situation just mentally. I mean, I, I, I can say that, but, like, for other people, it's just, I don't know. Because some people say it's bad, some people say it's not. I'm just overreacting, but I don't know what to think because I don't think about myself. I just go off what other people say. That's why, when the starting of the podcast, I said, like, oh, shit, um, I overthink a lot about uh, when friends hang out. And whatever they think about me if I'm like a bad person because I mean this year the starting of this year three people that I talked to last year are just not talking to me anymore and for like the first month when they weren't talking to me I was just all weirded out I was like what the fuck what did I do I was sad angry or just overall like why have I stopped being talked to and I hadn't I still haven't got an answer yet but one of my friends told me just not to give a fuck and just focus on yourself and if they come back then they come back and you just you think whatever you need to do with them, with that person. I was like, you want to stay as friends, ask for an explanation, not talk to them, like whatever. Just what you feel in your gut 
that gut feeling what you think you will do in the situation with that person, but I don't know. I'm really bad at explaining shit, by the way. I just spurred off about nothing. Like, I have so much shit to rant about, too, but I just, I feel like I'm going to name drop someone by accident, and then I don't want to go back and edit this, because today's Wednesday. I'm literally recording this, like, a couple hours before I got to upload this. This will probably go up by, like, 5 or 6, and right now it's 1.30. So, I mean, yeah. I got off school an hour ago, went to the gym, whatever the fuck. It's just, a lot's going on. I just want to keep this schedule going, because yesterday my video got, like, no views, and it's kind of put me in a deep depression after me averaging 20 views a video, and then it going up, like, bro, people are swarming into the fucking JID review. I'm so happy about that. So happy, because, I mean, and the average amount of time people watch the video, too, bro, it's like 14, 16%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is to me, because it's an hour-long video. So, that's 16 minutes people watch the video. That is fire. Straight up gas. So, I mean, thank y'all. If y'all are watching the podcast this far, thank you. And I'm not ending it yet. I gotta wait to hit 30 minutes, because why I try and push for for a podcast is 30 minutes plus. In the last couple podcasts, I've done 30 minutes, which is whatever. If I'm just by myself, there's not a lot to talk about. And, I mean, I kind of just circle back to the same topic I was talking about before, just because that's how my brain works. And I just, I can stay on a topic for a while, but someone needs to tell me repeatedly, like, hey, we're still on this topic. Don't swoop off into another one just because you feel and see fit. But I need to stop doing that. Just, like I said, my my fucking brain, dude, it doesn't, I need to get my shit checked out. That's also more money and stuff, like, involved with that. So it's just like, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not paying for it, obviously. My parents have insurance and stuff like that, and they can deal with it, whatever, but... They care about me enough. I just don't want them to spend any money on my on me. <laughs> my, I can't talk right now. My mouth is so fucking dry, bro. Like I, this is already off to a good start. I, I didn't. I haven't eaten since yesterday, and all I had yesterday was Popeyes. I had the worst shit of my life this morning. My feet were clenching on the ground, like my like the shit. This is your toes. This is me clamping down into the ground, like they're separated, clamping down into the ground because how bad the shit was. I was on the toilet for about thirty minutes. It was like five thirty, so at six o'clock I got up off the toilet. Went back to bed, forgot I had school, woke up at 6.30, took a shower, brushed my teeth, it was 6.45, had to be by the bus at 6.55, and uh, I was doing all the other shit, get my Chromebook and stuff, was at the house at 6.52, ran over to the bus stop, and uh, I got there, right on time, but I just, I've been tired the whole fucking day, and just me going to the gym, and hitting squats for the first time in like a year and a half, two years. It's just, it's insane. My whole body, it just hurts. Or at least my legs. My legs hurt so bad. And also, sorry if you hear the pocket knife flickering up and open, or open and closing. I'm going to stop. But, uh, it, I, just my whole body fucking aches. I mean, I have bench press all the time. It's just my PR. Ugh. Man, it's went down so much. I hadn't worked out in a month and a half, two months. So, I'm kind of just... Needing, getting back into it after such a long period of time of not going to the gym is just so hard to do and that's just how my, my, my mind works but I mean for other people it's not but for me just after <clears throat> gaining 20 fucking pounds it's not muscle I did, it's definitely all fat I mean I don't look like I'm that fat to other people but like to me I think I look fucking terrible bro like a fat stupid piece of human pig shit garbage But, yeah, I mean, I also want to shave my head. I think it'd make my face look fatter. That's not the point, though. I want to shave my head so I don't got to worry about my hair with other shit. It's just, the only reason why I'm not shaving my head is because of my job. It's because I'm hosting, and I can't wear hats up front. So I would have to, like, sit up there with a bald head. And I don't want that. So, if I work strictly dish pit, I won't be mad about having a shaved head. But my managers will not switch me over to Dish Pit full time. Because what I'm wanting to do is close Dish Pit Friday and Saturday. And then maybe do Cook on uh, Sundays. I didn't tell them about the Cook part yet. But I mean, for right now, Fridays and Saturdays, Dish Pit, and then Sunday Host. That's not what it is right now, but that's what I told my managers. But 
she's trying to get it figured out, but I don't think they are. They just don't give a shit about me anymore. I mean, I had a no call, no show on uh, last week on uh, Saturday because I was really sick. I thought it wasn't that bad. Like Wednesday, I was coughing. <clears throat> yeah, uh, the sniffles. And then Thursday, I was like, oh, shit, I might actually be sick. Got checked out because I was coughing up blood and phlegm. They said it's just allergies. I was like, bro, I'm coughing up blood and phlegm. They're like, dude, you're good. Friday comes, going to work, told Holly I'm sick. She kicks me out. I go home. My dad knows that I vape. So he's just like, yeah, my brother definitely snitched on me. Um, Yeah, but I'm going to quit vaping anyway because, like I said, the new... The four or five months are coming in hot, so it's kind of like time to quit everything. <laughs> like, I was drinking a lot. I was doing these things, but, I mean, now it's time for me to really just, like, focus on working out and changing my whole shit. I think my brother's sitting outside my room because there was a door creak open after I just said that. So, like, I don't know for sure. But if it is, I hope he hears me right now. I'm not chatting shit. And, you know, saying he snitched on me is not chatting shit about it. I'm just saying. I'm putting it out there that he snitched on me. And you can interpret if snitching is a good or bad thing. And I know what I think it is. And you all should know what you think it is. So, I mean, yeah, he snitched. So, whatever. Uh, but he said he was disappointed. He wasn't mad. Which is always the worst thing. I'd rather him be mad and like take away my shit instead of being disappointed and me having the shit and then being like, oh, so you're doing it because in, in spite of me or what? what you, why are you doing this? What? Do, why do you enjoy vaping? I'm like, um, just because, I mean, it, it cools me off. Just same with you because every time my dad gets mad, he goes outside, grabs a cigarette, smokes a cigarette, whatever. Whenever I get pissed off or I need to cool down, Matthew hits his vape. So, I mean... It's just, it's just the way I go. And I mean, I've been addicted to a vape for like two years. I mean, I was on it four years ago. And then I quit for a year. And then I'm back on it. But I've never been on the, the vape shit for this long. Because last time I tried taking a break from vaping was when uh, I tried doing uh, the last weight loss journey. Which was semi-good. I lost 10, 15 pounds. It was supposed to be 230, but I just couldn't hit it. I mean, I could, I, I hate saying I couldn't, because in my head, I think I can't, but I know truly, like, I can't, anyone can't, it's just, the mental block, and the motivation of not wanting to do it, is what not, is just what ruins people, just not being able to do it, and I know I can, it's just my fucking brain, dude, just, I can't, the mental block, and it pisses me the fuck off, dude, like, even right now, I want to hit my shit, but I can't, or I can because it's not September 1st yet, which is tomorrow, when it, which is when I delete social media. So the day after this video comes out. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm my mouth's getting real fucking dry, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, That's just how I've been. For a couple months, just gaining weight. Getting more sad and depressed and angry i'm getting back in the gaming which is not it's a good thing and a bad thing like i like gaming but also i just i don't like it because i mean a couple of days ago i was playing fortnite and i lost a match and i had like 21 kills it was t i was in the top five fucking got angry elbowed the door bruised the fuck out of my elbow the work came off so i had to attach it back on this is at like 11 p.m too so i'm like fuck dude my parents probably heard that and then the morning after what do you know? My parents are like, what was that loud noise last night? I was like, oh, no, I just dropped my dumbbell or something. And my dad's like, nah, you're getting angry. I was like, yeah, I was. So I just need to stop playing games. Like, I've thought about selling my PC, but after saving up all that money for a PC and I haven't even had it for six months yet, yeah, no, I that's that would be such a waste. Because even though I got to buy my dad's car off him, I could definitely come up with some ways to sell my shit. Because I can sell my record player, my records, my camera shoes. That's a quick 1000 1500 for other shit, too, that I have. I mean, I might sell my mini fridge, too, because, I mean, I don't have anything sitting in there. I mean, I do. It's monsters, but, I mean, monsters just aren't healthy. So I'm probably just not going to, you know, have a mini fridge. 
which is good because I probably shouldn't. And it takes up less room. I mean, it's cool to have all the stickers on it. Oh, uh, it's so cool. But I mean, I just I don't truly need a mini fridge. I mean, maybe when I get a dorm, sure. And maybe I could save the mini fridge when I get a dorm, sure. But I mean, at this moment, no. I mean, I've had this shit on. I literally have unplugged this mini fridge in months. And before I, you know, uh, redid my room, it was on for probably almost a year. Even when we went on trips, it was never unplugged. The power was always on in it, and the fear of it exploding, I touched the metal part behind it. I literally burnt my, the tip of my finger off. It took a couple months to come back, but, you know, a little bit of scarring. But, yeah, that it's like lava, bro. That little metal thing in the back, there's like some nuclear power going on back there, bro. Some uranium or some shit. There's no way this thing is not dead yet and powering up. It's your shit frozen in there. I don't know how. My mini fridge is literally like a fucking monster or some shit, dude. The three-eyed fish from The Simpsons, like nuclear. <coughs> but back onto the me being sick thing. Saturday I had a fever. Sorry. I was like 101 point three, four, five, whatever the fuck. So that's above a hundred, which is really bad. So I probably shouldn't have, uh, gone to work that day. So I didn't, I was this close to doing it, but I felt really bad because the managers are like, cause on Friday, the, the managers I thought had me covered with a dish pit shift with another dish pit person. Which one of the managers was talking to me. He's like, oh yeah, I'll try and get a cover for you. And I was like, thank you, bro. I'm going to be sick tomorrow. I had this weekend off to stay at home and relax. Because I'm fucking sick and throwing up phlegm and blood. And then Saturday comes. 5 o'clock, my shift starts. My, uh, almost name dropped. Manager texts me. Hey, are you coming in? I was like, no. I thought I had something covered. She's like, what the fuck? You should have came into your shift. I was like, oh, I'm sick. She's like, how sick are you? What's your temperature? And I was like, 102.3. And she's like, oh, well, why didn't you have anyone cover you? I'm like, because I thought the managers had me covered. And she's like, don't rely on the managers. Rely on yourself and ask someone in dish pit. I'm like, you're right. So I'm not going to do that again. But I mean, yeah, I was sick. Then Sunday, I don't know how I went from 101.2, 101.3 to fucking 97, 96, 98 maybe. I forget. I mean, I was still kind of sick, but I mean, I wasn't just, you know, like, dying. I mean, I everyone's dying, but I mean, not truly just, like, on your deathbed, just <laughs> throwing up blood, phlegm, ugh, eyes red, everything. Just feeling really sick. But Sunday I came in, I was like, oh, shit. Shift starts. I feel like crap. Host decides to stay in the back for an hour and a half. Comes back. I get cut because this person is just staying in the back the entire time, not doing her fucking job. And I, I dip. Yeah. I mean, I could talk about Applebee's, but I mean, I'll save it for the next one. Because, I mean, I'll go through this weekend and tell you guys about what happened this weekend. Or, what happens this weekend at Applebee's, I will tell you next week on Wednesday. But for the most part, I mean, I hit all my topics I need to hit. Um, I understand that, uh, it's just, I'm not going to be... Hold on. Y'all understand this. I'm not going to be as active on YouTube. If something needs to be said, if something needs to be posted, it will happen. But if not, as I see, I will not do anything about it. I'm not able to message you guys and tell you guys about certain things that's going on. I could put out a video, but I'm not going to put out a message and just treat it like social media. Like I said, I'm supposed to be off. No Instagram, no Snapchat. Four or five months. So, yeah. Um, I don't have a schedule right now. But I will say this. Every Wednesday, I will put out a podcast. 30 minutes to two hours. For every podcast. Between that time frame. But, yeah. Thank y'all for watching if you've gotten this far. Love you so much. Remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on because YouTube blocks my videos because I put music in it that's copyrighted. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, talk to you later. Peace.